Welcome to Pro One. Let's get ready to work. Two weeks before quarterfinal, so Pro One Montreal getting ready to kick some butt. So today we're actually focusing on the quarterfinals. So Fred has concocted an amazing workout today. I'm gonna let him talk about why we're doing this today and what his thought process was. So today we're doing a specific quarterfinal training. So they're not gonna be warm today. It's just like barbell and dumbbell movement. Working on synchro, male-male, female-female, and male-female. So this is the training for today. We're actually gonna work on natural, regular CrossFit movements. To start, we've got a barbell. We're going heavy. There's always been a heavy test in quarterfinals. Yeah, it's who's changing the weight? Usually, it's the one who's the best in snatch, but it depends on the weight. It's who's the best in snatch. It's not just the one who's the best in snatch. It's 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 who's the best in snatch. La pause, parfait. All right. Fait que maintenant, on va changer les poids. Parfait. Fait que tu vas changer les poids. Non, juste plus consistante. Consistante ou constante? Constante. T'es consistante, Manon. She just said that Manon is really consistent. In French, that actually means thick. So I'm not sure that's what she meant. <laughs> All right, so the discussion was whether to go for singles or to keep the bar in your hands. So since this is a partner workout where we're sharing the load and the weights, you actually get a break. So Mode was wondering if it was worth holding the bar and keeping it unbroken versus doing singles. So today, since we're practicing and trying things, she's gonna try to go for doubles, which is something she, she wouldn't usually do. We're gonna try it today, see if it pays off in the end. All right, so today is snatch workout. It's girls go first and then boys. They need to complete a 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2 rep schemes. This is snatches. They have to do the reps, tag the partner, and then the partner comes in and does their reps. They need to change their own weights. They need to set up their bars. There's a lot going on. I would say this is really high execution. A slip of the bar, a clip that doesn't fit, that's precious seconds when you're trying to win a workout. So I told the girls to make sure that their transitions are super clean and that the transition when you change the weight is where you breathe and the transition where you don't change the weight, you have to go, you have to go get those reps. So we'll see the boys after, but first the girls are gonna get going. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, snatches for time. Yeah. Let's go. We just gotta go hard. Uh. Adrenaline pumping through my veins, can't relax, original I am not the same as these cats I sting them if they never ever mind and they beeswax I don't ever cap, but I'm wearing like three hats Never been a rat, but I know where the cheese at You'll never get a trophy cause they all here where we at You better believe that When it's all said and done, I still be here standing Never took a loss and it ain't something that I'm planning I dare you to say something, my focus is A1 Every dog has his day, it's been mine since day one This is real grinding, I'm still climbing Why you still trying, I'm still shining, it's real blinding And I'm getting hotter too, talking top two, I'm not a two You let the pressure bother you and I do what I gotta do Let's go home Amazing, no failed bars, really quick transitions. So Manon was just talking about some of the feelings she had in the workout that are really, really important. So she's gonna talk a little bit about her snatches today. 
Uh, so basically, before baby, uh, 155 would have been easy in power, but uh, when, since I'm back, you know, it's way more difficult. But I thought, like I said to Chloe, maybe next time I need to push myself a little bit more. So like the three reps at 130, I should have tried to at least do them in power just to see like how I felt. Because it's not on the competition floor, I'll try something like this. Uh, and I, I think I would have been able and that the, the rest of the, the bars would have been fine. So it's just a reminder to keep. Yeah, sometimes we think we can't do it. Practice, that's where you try it. So that's what she's saying. Try, try and practice and then compete it with it after. And it's different in training than when you have a little stress like this one. So sometimes stress, but for me, stress makes me stronger, if I can play that. <laughs> yeah. Powered by stress. <laughs> what? Exactly. Awesome. What? Perfect. Mais j'aime mieux dire d'avance. Ouais, que... ça, ça va être sûr que... Comme l'autre fois, quand je t'ai regardé en haut, les deadlifts, tu savais tout de suite. Ouais. C'était parfait. Tes reps, pour vrai, étaient... Good job. Pour ouais. vrai, là, ben du monde qui l'ont pas fait comme ça. Ouais, Good. je sais que je fais des belles reps au moins. Mais c'est cool, les open, là. Mais je te dis, corps de flanche, ça passe. Ouais, c'est ça. Ouais, ça passe des open. Cool. Mais exact. Toi, tu t'en fous des open. Ouais, T'es là pour les corps. C'est pour ça que je te tiens au standard des games. Parce qu'on s'en va là, bro. On s'en va là? Oh my god, check ton sourire! Il a vu de cacher. Oui, c'est ça! Il commence à s'en va. All right, workout number two. We've got lots and lots of skills, lots and lots of shoulders. So, really important to be able to have all the skills prepared for our quarterfinals. So, we're gonna do a shoulder burner. So, how it's gonna work? Four bars, all athletes will complete overhead squats synchronized. One pairing will go to the rings, complete the ring muscle ups. Tag, second duo, ring muscle ups, so lots of shoulders. Straight into the wall. First round is wall walks. It's kind of like a spider monkey walk all the way onto the wall. Both pairs do that, they come back. Same thing with the overhead spots. Same things on the rings. Now we're gonna have wall facing handstand push ups. Back to the bar, back to the rings as a pair, and we finish off with strict. No legs, only arms, handstand push-ups. When we're done, we call time, and that's it for training number two. Je trouve que vous ne regardez pas beaucoup. On est supposé voir un clic, boom, rap. Clic, boom, good, rap. Tu tu l'as dit, mais... là, des fois, tu pushais back, tu sais. Ouais. Il y a eu des pushbacks, tout. Ouais. Je veux juste dire, ça devrait être... le, le lockout devrait être tellement clean. Comme le, la seule point synchro, c'est le lockout. C'est ça qu'il faut que ce soit assez clean. Le seul point qui compte, c'est ça. Last workout. Today, we're doing sprints. So we did the skills, we did the weightlifting, and now we're sprinting. So girls together, guys together, two movements. Toast to bar, burpee box jump over. One round, tap, one round. We're gonna go back and forth for four rounds. We really, really wanna burn the house down. This is an all out effort. We're probably gonna see a lot of sweat and a lot of out of breath. Let's see how it goes.
non. Non, non. Non, Leur saut est pas barré, c'est ça que je veux dire. Ouais. C'était pas le timing du saut. Ils sautaient ensemble, mais pas dans la même angle. Ouais, ouais. Fait, moi, je sais comment sauter avec chaque personne. Parce que vous sautez pas tous pareil. Après, j'ai essayé de m'adapter un peu, là. All right, big day of training done. Last piece, we're gonna talk to the team, see how they felt. So we'll start with the girls. So the girls, I want them to talk about how they executed perfectly the workout. So Fred asked them to accelerate every round, and they did exactly that. So I want to hear why, how did they do that. So let's hear about the girls. Uh, my God, that's gonna sound weird, but uh, like, like I said earlier, in those type of workout, I have, um, I personally have a problem to know if I really go faster or not. I knew our last round we were really, really, really fast because I mean my cardio was about to end itself. Uh, but like, basically, we uh, we talked in between the rounds. Yeah, we accelerated like the second shit thing of burpee and uh, second yeah second set and the last one was just like go all out yeah. just go really 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 fast okay. and we beat the boys just so you know just so you know <laughs> no but uh i just wanted to say it because uh we did we did <laughs> i like it <laughs> you go chloe <laughs> never give mano a micro <laughs> Now let's hear about the boys. So the boys were able to do the workout really well. They didn't necessarily accelerate as Fred asked. So let's see what they learned today. Because remember, if you don't get it, that's okay, you learn. So let's see what they learned today. Oh, oh. qu'est-ce qu'on a appris? Uh, on a appris à sauter en même temps, mon Tristan? Ouais. Non, on a appris qu'on communiquait bien, qu'on sautait bien en même temps, mais qu'on n'était pas pareil dans notre technique. C'est quelque chose qu'il va falloir travailler. Je pense qu'on est beaucoup différents. Mais uh, non, on a pensé cette date. Ouais, les, les filles nous, a eu, nous ont eu, mais la prochaine fois, on va les avoir. C'est ouais. sûr et certain. On se laissera pas abattre de même. <rire> boy, 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 boy. All right, everyone, it's 1-0 for the girls. Let's go!